I burned them. I really wanted to make them pretty like mom's rolled omelets, but I haven't practiced enough, so they look nasty. Mm -hmm. Mm. This is delicious cheese. That's for lunch! Doesn't it taste burnt? It reminds me. When we were kids, we'd have picnics in the garden. Huh? And Sis would always volunteer to make the bento for all of us. But her lunches mostly consisted of weirdly shaped rice balls and burnt rolled omelets. Um, what is this? <laughs> is it supposed to be burnt? Excuse me? Never mind the rice balls. Those rolled omelets were a disaster. She had used way too much sugar. The flavor was all wrong. <laughs> but to tell you the truth, in spite of all that, I actually liked her cooking. Anyway, why decide to focus on omelets of all things? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because I was tired of having my failures always eaten as if they were delicious. Chiyo, you must have learned to make them quite nicely. I'll practice too. I won't give up until they look like moms. Wait and see, they're gonna be better than those failures I made this morning. You got that? Sure. Like it or not, you're going to be my taste tester for them, Madoka. Uh. Count me in. Moving on, the next item on our list I'd like to discuss is... Toe? Are you listening? Ben? Master Madoka. Toe? Earth to Madoka! <laughs> Is it lunchtime already? Time for my bento, right? If that bento box will get you to focus, then sure. By all means, bon appetit. Yay! Time to eat! <clears throat> By the way, if you don't have plans, then you should come eat dinner with us on Sunday. And there's going to be pudding. Pudding? Anyway, these are all my failed attempts. You guys go ahead and help yourselves, okay? You told us to skip breakfast for some burnt omelets? Can you turn that alarm off? I'm trying to sleep. What? How could anyone expect me to sleep in my own bed when it's completely buried underneath all my work stuff? Maybe try taking responsibility for your mess instead of dragging everyone else into it! This might help. Take it. Even the most aggressive annoyance is stopped by Pepper Spray. What exactly are you trying to say? As if barging into his room without asking makes me some sort of degenerate. I have to figure out a way to keep him out of my room. Maybe I just need to get a big guard dog. Huh. Oh man, I'd love to have a dog. We weren't allowed to have pets at our apartment. Whoa, how's that for a coincidence? Oh, I bet keeping a puppy your size in my room would be no trouble at all. I should stop kidding myself. Cleaning up after Monica and a pet would be more trouble than I can handle. I'm sure someone really great is going to adopt you. Hey, I'm home! Madoka? Are you okay? Mr. Madoka, would you care to explain this? Well, that's a kitten. <laughs> Hello, this is Keiichiro, and I'm afraid he's brought in another cat. I'm not sure where he found a kitten. I would say it's about a month old and male. He's a black short hair, one white paw and blue eyes. Yes, it's very cute. Thank you again for your help, and we'll see you soon. I have to ask... How many more times must we go through this? You aren't allowed to bring cats into this home. You know you're severely allergic. It's been crying in the garden since yesterday. I couldn't just ignore it. Yes, well, if you try to rescue every stray with a sob story, you'll end up in the hospital. I can't believe you're being so selfish, Kate. You know, this kitten needs me. <sighs> what should I do? Stay strong. Just go downstairs and talk him into it. One look at that sweet face and he'll give in. Please go away! I'm on borrowed time here! No, am I kidding? That'll never work. Okay, I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. I can keep you up here until I find someone who wants to adopt you. Keiichiro took my kitty away. The only choice I have is to use you as a substitute until my grief subsides. Oh, I'm feeling better already. You're the cutest little ding. So tell me, you really like cats, don't you? Yeah. And dogs too? B! 
beasts from hell! If you so much as look at them wrong, they'll turn vicious and attack you! Please, someone help! He's gonna eat me! I can't figure out why such malicious animals aren't locked away in the city zoo. Oh. Oh, huh? I'll go start the tea. Wait, could you put this on first? Sorry, my apartment doesn't allow pets. Our cat's like a hundred, so it's probably not the best idea. We would take him, but we have three dogs already. When'd you get so interested in finding homes for stray animals? You probably should have just kept walking. Now you're stuck with it when someone would have taken it home eventually. I couldn't just leave it like that. I didn't know what else to do. I hope you at least found a good hiding spot for it. It's in my room. You are kidding, right? If your uncle finds out, he'll send the poor thing straight to the pound. <gasps> Is it just me, or has Chihiro been acting off lately? I can't say I've noticed anything. It seems his mind is someplace else. I put those catters on him yesterday, he didn't bat an eye. He may still be adjusting to all the changes. I wish I knew how to get him to open up about his feelings. Hey, I'm home! Huh? Chihiro, you're home quite early to... Hmm. <laughs> you're still here! Such a good boy. Not another animal. <laughs> All right, then. Have you found it a home? Not yet. I'll see what I can do. Though, my network of pet adopters consists mainly of cat lovers. But we have to start somewhere. Really? Well, I'm grateful you told me the truth. Uh now it'll be easier for me to help you with this. Sorry, should have told you sooner. <laughs> There's someone else who might deserve an apology. Um, uh, I'm sorry for not asking your permission. Did you hear me? Uh. Wait, Madoka! His beady eyes are staring into my soul. Can you put him in another room? Please stop that. Do I look like a chew toy? Should I ask him? He already looks angry, but I have to do the right thing. You told me how much you hate dogs, but is there any way you'd allow me to keep it here until I can find a good owner? Of course. You're a member of this household, and, as such, have every right to make requests without fear. There's no need to hide things. Did you really think I wouldn't even consider the idea? I was wrong. He's not angry at me. I hurt his feelings. Madoka, I'm sorry. I won't hide anything from you next time. Trust me. I'll trust you, too. I believe in us! <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. Sorry, I believe in us too. There's no way I'm going to clean up after that thing. You don't even clean up after yourself. I knocked. I thought a sleepover might be fun now that we've made up. Sleepover might be fun with the three of us. Is that okay? He'll eat me as soon as I shut my eyes! Lately, I've been letting this little guy sleep in the bed with me at night, so you have to be careful when you climb in, okay? Why does that flea bag get priority over me? This is ridiculous! Come back here, boy! Where'd you go? Thought I lost you for a second. It's so overgrown. The gardeners sure have their work cut out for them today. I'm coming! Hey there! He no landscaping here! You got a job? No way! Who knew? <laughs> you don't think I can handle it? Manners! <gasps> Be respectful to the clients! How you doing, Chihiro? It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it's great to see you! What a mess! From the looks of this place, we've got a full day ahead of us. I guess the master of the house has more important things to do than pull up some weeds. Is that so? I had no idea you were the gardener's grandson. It's a small world after all. I help out sometimes. Shouldn't you head back over then? As long as Chihiro keeps him company, I'm gonna take it easy. It's funny. Those two have always gotten along with each other. I wonder why. <laughs> it's the goatee! 
I don't think that's it. And you couldn't pull it.